There are more than 30,000 sled dogs living above the Arctic Circle in Greenland. These hardy and intelligent Greenland dogs are an essential part of life for Inuit hunters and fishermen. The dogs are used now as they were over a thousand years ago. The relationship between man and dog in Greenland is incredibly strong, as I came to learn while filming in Greenland for Human Planet. People rely heavily on dogs for all manner of things. In winter they are the primary mode of transport and are companions and guardians on hunting expeditions. A sled dog team can travel between 40 to 60 miles in a day. Most Greenlandic hunters favour a dog sled team over snowmobiles as they are far more reliable. A dog sled team doesn't break down or run out of petrol. Sled drivers also utilise the dog's natural survival instinct. There are stories of dog sled teams finding their way home even in the worst whiteout. It is thought that they may use their senses of smell or have the ability to memorise routes. The Greenlandic dog is part of a hunter's livelihood, so it pays for them to look after their dogs. In spring, the snow melts and the sea ice underneath becomes exposed. The spring weather causes the ice crystals to sharpen and it becomes like glass, which cuts the feet of the dogs. In order to prevent any damage, Gedeon puts on boots which protect the dog's paws. Aye. Great care is also taken of pregnant dogs. This dog here, um, she's pregnant apparently with what Rasmus, who is our driver over here, Rasmus thinks she may have four puppies, so she can't keep up. And Rasmus keeps putting her on the sled, so I have a companion on my sled every now and again. It's quite sweet, because she, she, although she can't keep up, she keeps wanting to go, so he has to hold her really tight to stop her from wanting to run with a pack. It's nice, even though she's very keen, she's not quite able. For the Inuit hunters and fishermen of Greenland, dogs really are man's best friend. Without the Greenlandic dog, the Inuit way of life that has prevailed in these Arctic conditions for centuries would soon disappear. <laughs> <laughs>